Thank you guys for putting up with me and the constant fatigue. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Raylor? Say, I think I'm the one that's stinky. One of you three farted. And I have a feeling it's either you, Sassafras, or you, Riddler. I don't know. There we, Emeril. Yeah, I want to mess with my brother. How are we, Sassy? Sleepy. So, yes, I'm actually vlogging in the morning. Heck yeah. Am I tired? Absolutely. But I need to go pick up my brother from work. And while I'm on it, like, this sounds like a horrible pet parent thing, but, like, we've not really had the money to get them flea medicine lately. Which, let's face it, flea medicine is expensive. Um, so we had a flea spray that we tried for a little bit. But I happened to check Emeril, because I found blood on one of my pillows. So I was trying to figure out who it came from. And Emeril is just covered in fleas. And I'm like, no, we're going now. We need to get this medicine now. And while I'm on it, Emeril will be going with me to the vet. Because I need to get a weight on him. I'm pretty sure he's gained weight last time. At his neuter, which was... When did you get neutered, bud? <laughs> he's looking at me like, what the heck? He got neutered before my birthday in May. And at that point, he was 45 pounds. I'm pretty sure he's at least gained a couple pounds. Sassy and Riddler are pretty stable in their weights. Riddler is 75, Sassy's 47. I mean, they're at the point in their growths where I don't think their weight would fluctuate that much. But of course, Emeril's eight months old and 40. I'm pretty sure he's gained some weight, so he's going to the vet with me. And I have to pick up my brother from work, so I'm about to go do that. I just wanted to tell you guys good morning, and the fact that I'm up is like a miracle. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. There's my beautiful boys sleeping on the bed. And there's my beautiful girl on her couch. And there's my feet on the floor. Woo! So, um, sorry, I'm really tired, so I'm, like, trying to get everything sorted through my brain. So, took MRL with me on a little journey because I needed to get him weighed at the vet's office for flea medicine. Um, so we first went and picked up my brother from his work, went by my mom's office. She gave me permission to bring MRL in. He doesn't have his vest on. And I know that their building does not allow service animals. But I guess because my mom works there and all of her co-workers are fine with it, she, he allowed me to bring MRL in. Of course, he got lots of love. He'd never been in an office building before, so he was like, what is this? I gotta sniff everything. But he was just like, yay, love! Um, and then we went to the vet and got flea medicine for all three dogs because they needed it. Okay guys, let me tell you something amazing. So MRL was 45 pounds when he got neutered, which was like sometime in May. It was before my birthday, which is May 19th. I don't remember exactly when he got neutered. I think it was May 12th. As of now, about over a month since then, he weighs 64 pounds. This boy is 64 pounds. Holy crapola. What do you think, baby? You're 64 pounds. You're getting so big. I mean, look at those paws. He does not look like he's grown into them yet, and he is eight months old. Can you see that? Holy bejesus. My little baby. And then he had his first experience at a gas station because I needed to get gas. So I rolled the window down a little bit so he can see me. And then, of course, he smelled gas fumes. And I'm like, you know, he needs to learn this. So got that, went home, had some lunch, gave the dogs their medicine. And then I came upstairs, watched a little bit of a YouTube video, ended up napping. And then I was, woke, I was woken up suddenly with the dogs barking. The power company's here to take down a power pole that's in the middle of our pasture. So, of course, the dogs were like, holy crap! I just scared them. That was great. <laughs> um, 
And then I was like, you know, while I'm down here and while I have energy still, let us sweep. Because I needed to sweep. So I got one, two, three, four. I got four rooms done and the stairs in the hallway. So yay. And of course, fatigue is like, blah. I was like, nope, we need to get the vlog done. So vlog is currently uploading. I am really like wanting to just collapse and nap. But I'm pushing. I'm like, we need to get this done. Riddler. Riddler, where'd you go? Hi. What are you doing? And for comparison with MRL and Riddler, Riddler is almost two and he weighs 75 pounds. So your brother is 11 pounds lighter than you. I think it's 11. No, he's nine pounds lighter, I think. <gasps> so, yeah. Um, I'm tired. And I was thinking about it and I felt really bad. I haven't posted as much cosplay stuff on my cosplay Instagram lately. And I want to cosplay so bad, but just the mere thought of having to get in a costume and like do my hair and all and do makeup makes me extremely tired. So I felt the need to put a post on my cosplay Instagram and be like, guys, I have, I have medical issues that have come up, so I have to hold off on the cosplays for right now. But I, I want to get back into cosplaying so bad. I feel like I haven't cosplayed much since Momocon. Um, but between Momocon and now is when the symptoms of extreme fatigue, dizziness, lightheaded have just really gone on. So, excuse you. Are you wanting to do my vlog for me? It's already edited. It's already uploading to the YouTubes. He had his paw on my chair. What are you trying to do? Riddler, is there something you're wanting? You can't have any more of those. I gave him a greenie. Oh yeah, there's my Rapidash with a bandana. I've got a bunch of weird stuff in my desk. Um, but yeah. That's my day right now. I'm trying so hard to vlog more. I felt bad for not ha Some of my vlogs have not had endings lately and I'm just like, ugh. So I'm trying to push past this is exhaustion. And be able to give you guys, like, good vlogs. Especially ones that have an ending to it. And not just, you know, the credit kind of thing from Windows Movie Maker. So, I'm trying, guys. I really am. And luckily, you guys are pretty understanding, like, that all of this is going on. And this whole thyroid issue is probably the reason why my anxiety and depression have been worse lately. So, thank you guys for putting up with me and the constant fatigue. Hey guys! <gasps> Hi! Hello! Emerald! Oh my goodness gracious! Hello, buddy! Hi! Are you hanging out with your mommy on the floor? Gotta play with Herbert? There's Sassy Girl. And hello! Hello! So, what has the evening been? I showered. Whoa! Nut. And just because I had the energy to, I also combed my hair and shaved and gave myself a pedicure and put stuff in my hair to make it less frizzy. Yay! I felt quite accomplished. Um, had dinner, watched me some Cutthroat Kitchen, which I find to be an interesting show. And now I'm just getting ready to go to bed. So I had some thoughts and I thought I would share them with you guys. Because, of course, my mind overthinks a lot. So, I was talking to my mom. Now, I'll go and say this. I don't know if I have hypothyroidism. I have no idea. All I know is that my TSH levels were low. That's all I know. I'll be getting the results of my second blood work tomorrow, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then Friday, I'll be going for an ultrasound of my thyroid. So, I don't know if there's anything even wrong. But of course, my brain immediately goes into overthinking mode. So. <laughs> I, hold on. Are you laying on your dinosaur? Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> I was rubbing his belly and I heard squeak, squeak, squeak. And I was like, why is my dog squeaking? And it's because he was laying on a dinosaur. 
goofy. You're so goofy. Look at you, goofball. And look, anything I do, he, I think my dog is ticklish. But he's so cute. So I was telling my mom about some research I did about hypothyroidism and how it can cause insomnia as well as fatigue. Double-edged sword, butch. And I was like... You know, it doesn't help that I have anxiety, so of course my anxiety is also going to cause insomnia. And my mom is like, well, anxiety and depression have been linked to thyroid issues. Um, excuse you, I'm trying to explain things. Go over there, puppy. Whee! I pet your belly. I tickle your belly. Let mommy tickle your belly. <laughs> um, she was like, what if after treating your hypothyroidism, if that's what's going on, that you are sent that you are cured and my mind immediately kind of went into a panic mode because my first thought was like okay well if I was cured of anxiety my first thought was that you guys would think I was like a fraud or something for having my anxiety cured and I was like my fans would hate me and leave me and pressing the panic button would just fall to shambles I talked with a friend who has talked some sense into me and I'm like you know even if that were to happen, hopefully you guys wouldn't, like, flat out just leave. Because I love you guys. You're great. And plus, my mental health issues started way before these, like, crazy low thyroid hormone symptoms came up. I've had anxiety and major depression for about, this would be about five years now. And the hormone things have come up within the last two or three months. So, I don't know. Of course, this is my brain overthinking, as he usually does. Then my second thought was, I would no longer need MRL as a service dog. Which, I mean, it's great to not have to need a service dog. But then I'm like, I have built up everything with MRL around him being a service dog, and I don't know. I would just feel like a failure with him and think that people would think I'm a failure with him. But of course, no matter what, he'd always be my baby boy, won't you, buddy? Yeah, whether you wear a vest or not, you will always... <laughs> this is just too funny. <laughs> but the point is, you would always still be my baby boy. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah? So, I don't know, this sounds really stupid. Having these thoughts of, like, my first thoughts going towards MRL no longer being a service dog and the vlog... Instead of, why not think about my own health, Raven? But I tend to think, like, not about myself. But, I mean, it could not happen. A lot of what I'm thinking, I mean, I could get my, like, if this is hypothyroidism, I could get that treated, but still have anxiety. I mean, clearly, with the thoughts that are going through my mind now, I mean, if anything, from what my mom said, it seems like my depression got worse. My anxiety is still where it's been at, so, I don't know. I'm sorry, I've, my brain is very confusing. Even I'm still trying to sort out these thoughts. Basically, like, for some reason my brain is fearing losing MRL as a service dog, even though I know I would never lose him as a dog. Like, I would always have him. I would never get rid of him, he is too precious to me. And then my second thought went to fearing losing you guys. Because you guys are awesome, and I love each and every one of you. Come here, let's have an internet hug. Ready? Go! Yay, internet hug! And here, while we're on it, POV tickle the dog. Can we tickle the dog? Can we tickle him? <laughs> yes. So, those are some of the thoughts that I had going through my mind. And I don't know what you guys make of all this. Besides that, oh, Raven is probably crazy. I know, I probably am. So, now with all that bullcrappery in mind, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day, just so that my brain could be settled and happy. If this, if my anxiety and depression were all treated and stuff, and I mean, I'd still continue pressing the panic button, would you guys still follow me? I mean, I'd still be there to support you guys, obviously. And probably none of this would even happen, but, you know? This is what my brain's, brain's, brain's thinking and I need validation. <laughs> so, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!
Good night, sassy girl. Good night, my tickle puppy. Is that tickle puppy? You see a tickle puppy? Yes. Good night, buddy. Good night, Riddler. Sweet dreams.